Hi, I'm wedding and portrait photographer Vanessa Joy, and today on my YouTube channel, I'm going to show you how to get serious and romantic expressions. It's important to remember that while you are doing this, it's probably super awkward for your client who is not a model. So you wanna make sure that you give them things almost to distract them from the fact that you're getting a serious photo. And if they start laughing in the middle of it, no big deal, take some laughing photos in the meantime. So the first thing I'm doing here with Evie, she is in gorgeous, gorgeous light and it's lighting that's really right above her. So it's giving her a nice uh, jawline, nice cheekbones, which is just going to help a more serious photo when you have more angular shadows, at least in my opinion. What we're gonna do first is not have her look at the camera because that's the hardest thing to do is get that serious looking at the camera. So what you're gonna do is just look down kind of that direction right there. Now normally people have their lips closed when you do a serious expression, but what you wanna tell them to do is breathe through their mouth. So go ahead and breathe through your mouth. And then on three, you're gonna take a deep breath through your mouth and then look at the camera. One, two, three. Good, perfect. And then do that one more time and look at the camera at the beginning of your breath. So you kind of go and at the top of your breath, you'll look at me. Ready, one, two, three. Good, perfect. Now go ahead and look down this direction and you can kind of smirk that way, perfect. And then look up at me again and close your eyes for one and then take a deep breath through your mouth and look up at me again. Perfect. So letting them relax their jaw like that and take a deep breath through their mouth, it does two things. One, they're gonna breathe through their mouth, drop the jaw, and that's just a more natural look versus pursed lips and tight lips. Secondly, the deep breath in is giving them tension puffing out the chest a little bit and elongates the neck. So it's just like a, and it gets all of those things that you want. Now, photographing a person is much easier than getting a couple to be serious and romantic together. So we'll do that next after I have a little fun because this is really good right here. Are you thinking straight down oh, that's for funny. one, oh, that's Ooh, right? Yeah, definitely. So do this while you're looking down this way because I think that will be more fun with this. get a little bit more drama in the lighting. Lean that way a little bit, yep. Okay, so what I'm thinking of doing is using this reflection. So if you're gonna lean against it, you know what, lean that way your favorite side is shown. And then you're gonna come up next to her. You're gonna move a lot of this dress out of the way so you can get really close to her. Yeah, <laughs> actually do that again. Because that's how a lot of people pose you. And this is like, we're hitting on you at the bar, borderline, someone's gonna complain about this, but. <laughs> so what you'll do, take this hand, kind of put it around her waist, get nice and close. That hand, Evie, you can hold on to his lapel maybe. Yeah, like you're pulling him in towards you. Yeah, there you go. That's literally it. <laughs> that looks good. So get really close together. You can hold on to her waist. Yep. Nice, and you're gonna get really close together. So to get a nice romantic kind of picture here, what you wanna do, you both are gonna breathe through your mouths, close your eyes, and get your lips to almost touch. So almost kissing is always better than kissing. Shows much more attention. Get your lips a little closer together, right there. And then what I love doing for shots like these is getting a close up. Make sure you're still breathing through your mouth. Stick your chins towards each other a little bit more. Yep, just like that. Good, stay right there. That's awesome. Do a move. That was perfect. That's just <laughs> get nice and close like that again, but this time out, you're gonna look towards me. Yep, and then you're looking right at his eyebrows. Good, good. And then you're gonna really pull into him. You could laugh. <laughs> Everyone's yeah, cool. you're like, oh. <laughs> nice. <laughs> so get real close to him, like you're, um, yep. And then both of you guys close your eyes, relax your faces. And then when I say three, Evie, you're gonna stay where you are, but Allie, you're gonna look up at me. 
And one, two, three. And one more, but you're gonna kind of switch. You're gonna look towards me, Evie, but you're gonna go, put your um, nose like right in her temple. So like close your eyes for one. And then on three, go ahead, open, look at me. Perfect. And then do a little lean this way. Nice. And then Al, just vampire biter neck. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> So here I have all of the photos from the session. I know, I know, you didn't see them all. That's why you have to wait till the end so you can see. And this is a beautiful makeup artist. It was her house that we got to shoot in. All right, so I've picked some of my favorites here so I can just pull up and edit. I'm not gonna edit all of them, but just some of my favorites and I'm gonna throw them in Lightroom. So I know this was all about serious expressions, but you'll notice two of my favorites are of them smiling. There's nothing wrong with getting those photos while you're attempting to get the serious ones. They might end up being some of your favorites. All right, so this was one I really wanted to work on. Let's see what we can do with this one. Instantly, I sort of want to turn it into black and white because I know right off the bat, if I'm taking serious photos, it's sort of as nice to have them in black and white. It just adds to it. So I think I'm gonna make a virtual copy of this one and edit it in black and white and one in color and you can tell me which one you like. All right, so those are my first two favorites. And quite frankly, I can't decide if I like black and white or color. So you're gonna have to tell me. Some of the corrections I made, definitely darkening that white wall since I didn't have that much control over it. Well, I didn't have any control over the white wall, um, but and balancing out the exposure. Ideally, I do want the eye to go to the bride, but I want the groom to be a knowable subject. Looking back at this, it probably would be better if I just asked the groom to take two steps backwards. He would have been a little bit more in shadow and a little bit more in focus, which I think would have benefited the photo overall, but I still love it. All right, let's see what else we got. This is absolutely one of my signature type shots. I always like taking the blue out of there, see it in the veil. That's from the daylight. And then quickly, I'm just going to retouch her skin a little bit using the presets that I have here that you can grab at presets.breatheyourpassion.com. And that looks good to me. Next. Once in a while, I just like doing a photo like this where I add film grain. Just gives it a very old world type look, which is a lot of fun. So there you go. We've got lots of different romantic expressions, ways that you can get people to kind of hmm, calm, serious. Make sure you do almost kissing, always breathing through the lips. And then of course, have some fun with it too. So. Um, yeah, that's it. Make sure to hit like, subscribe, ring the bell. See you next time.